Hey everyone, welcome to Science Based Fitness where I create weekly fitness content. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing if you like this video. We all know exercise is good, but what does it actually help us with? Today we're covering five benefits of exercise. We're gonna look at some of the scientific evidence and give you a little bit better understanding of why you should be exercising. So let's get right into it. As we get older, struggles with bone density is more and more common. This is known as osteoporosis, which is a bone disease that occurs when the body loses too much bone, makes too little bone, or both. According to the National Osteoporosis Foundation, 54 million Americans have osteoporosis and low bone mass. This can be avoided by doing weight-bearing exercises like what you can see here, along with hiking, jogging, or something like climbing stairs, providing a stimulus to these bones can help increase the strength of your bones and reduce the effects of osteoporosis. For those who struggle with things like depression, anything to improve symptoms seem to be worth a shot. Well, exercise might just be what you're looking for. A study that looked at if exercise was a viable treatment for depression was able to conclude in their summary. It appears that even modest levels of exercise are associated with improvement in depression. And while most studies to date have focused on aerobic activity, several studies have also found evidence of resistance training also may be effective. Depression isn't the only psychological benefit seen. Evidence shows decreases in stress levels and improved mood. Along with other added benefits, they're definitely worth looking into. While we age, we seem to be more and more susceptible to different types of diseases. Exercise is not a magic cure for all diseases, although in some cases you can reduce the risk factor of things like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, dementia, and even some types of cancer. A study in the New England Journal of Medicine showed that walking or a brisk walk reduces the likelihood of coronary heart disease. An additional study looked at dementia over a 31 year period and was able to state light exercise such as gardening or walking and regular exercise involving sports were associated with reduced odds of dementia compared to hardly any exercise. A third study that looked at the relationship between prostate cancer used 13 cohort studies and they found that nine studies showed an association between exercise and decreased prostate cancer risk. All these studies I've mentioned are listed in the description if you're interested in reading yourself, and if you're getting value out of this video, hit that like button. On top of what we already discussed, those who exercise tend to have higher energy levels. WebMD found that more than 90% of the studies showed the same thing. Sedentary people who completed a regular exercise program reported improved fatigue compared to the groups that did not exercise. Using my own anecdotal evidence, I can even say that in my personal experience as a trainer over the last 10 years, I've noticed that the first change people typically see when they start exercising is a change in energy level. Last but not least, ease of daily activities. Now this can be anything from it becoming easier to walk upstairs, having more stamina at your job, or even things like taking a shower. Now for a lot of you that are younger, this might not quite make sense on why you would exercise to simply have more stamina at work. Uh, as we age and get older, it's a more challenging task to complete all of the things you need throughout the day. Exercise can make it easier to sustain energy throughout the day and not lose out and reduce the abilities that you currently have of completing your daily tasks. There is a lot more than just these five tips that I gave today. If you have one that you think is more important than any of these five I listed, put it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Other than that, that is gonna be it for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're not subscribed and you found value, click subscribe. Stay tuned for my weekly content and we'll see you guys next week. Have a good day.